safety. Now I know that I could kind of say, okay, time out, and I could pick someone from every pay grade represented here in the, in the theater today and say, here's the mic, come on up on the stage, give us the holiday safety stand down sound bites. And you could do it. But that's not what I'm after. I don't want you to repeat the sound bites or go, yeah, 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 I've heard it. I want you to grab a hold of this thing and internalize it because it's important. It's important because this is about you. And this is about us, our shipmates. So let's jump for a minute off of that. Hey, take time to say attaboy and girl. Well, take time to interact with your shipmates over this holiday season. It's no mystery. We don't have to dance around it or be sensitive about it. This is one of the hardest time for many people to navigate through for all sorts of personal, emotional, and psychological reasons. And in this time, unfortunately, the disaster of suicide occurs more frequently than at other times of the year. Don't let that happen to us. Take personal interest in yourself and seek help if you need it. There's no shame in that. We've been talking about PTSD for a, more than a decade. Doesn't matter what the cause. It could be PTSD. It could be marital problems. It could be financial problems. It could be that you didn't get the rock'em sock'em robot present that you wanted. But take the time to pay attention to your shipmates and stop and ask them about, are you okay? You don't seem as happy as you normally are. There is no deadline and nothing that we were working on that is so important that we don't have the time to invest in each other and our needs and our well-being. So please, take that to heart. There will be a lot of traffic during the holiday season as Europeans move to be with their families. Weather, it is winter, particularly if you're going to move north. North of Rome required to have snow tires, et cetera, et cetera. There's going to be weather impediments. There's going to be the weird weather that we're having where it's sunny for a week and then we're going to have another week of torrential thunderstorms and hail and everything else. You're going to have snow showing up in places you don't expect like the top of Mount Vesuvius. Traffic, weather, and most importantly, what do you think it is? Fatigue. And it's not just your life is at stake. It's your family's life if they're riding with you. It's that pedestrian that you hit on the road or that other car that you have a collision on. This is your responsibility to do this right. Make a plan and stick to it. And when you encounter those types of things like unexpected traffic or unexpected weather, call home. Call your supervisor and say, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make it home on time. And that's okay. We want you to plan well. We want to execute with precision, but there are some things that are out of our control. And do not drive when you are fatigued. Fixture at this time of year that might not be so commonly used over the balance of the rest of the year. Christmas trees. Okay, so how many <coughs> plugs of lights can you fit in that extension cord? Electrical safety. We do it well on the ship, do it well at home. We don't need fires, we don't need electrocution. And by the way, whatever you're plugging it into probably isn't very robust and good either. So there's lots of potential for fires. I'm talking about ladders. Climbing, I, I can get the angel on the top of the tree. Lots of people fall off ladders at this time of the year and you can die. Break your neck and die. Break your arm, break your leg, but it's bad. Hanging up Christmas lights outside, so please think about ladders. Your plan probably involves driving, and almost all social events in Europe involve the opportunity to drink. I would be remiss if I didn't say, make a plan. Make a plan which says, I'm going to have a designated driver. Make a plan that says, well, I'm not intending to drink, but if I do, I am courageous enough to call up a friend who I know is not drinking and say, come and get me. Make a plan which says, if I kind of blew my plan, then I'm going to call a cab or I'm going to stay overnight in that place where I am. 
Make a plan and stick to it. This is about you and me. About you and you. This is about us. This is about us as human beings coming back after a holiday season that should be a joyful opportunity. A chance to rejoice on what we've accomplished in 2013. A chance to celebrate the camaraderie that we enjoy. A chance to see family and friends. But you matter. Not because you're professionals and we need you on the team. Yes, we do. But because you matter to us as human beings, as friends and colleagues. And so my plea to you is that as we go into the holiday season, that you don't just go, yep, yep, I heard the holiday season safety tips. Internalize them. Grab them. Use them. Because it has been my distinct pleasure and honor to work alongside you this year. And I cherish the opportunity to work with you next year. So take the time. Make a plan. And I'll see you all after the holidays. Thanks, everybody, and Merry Christmas.